Warning, the Animal Jam series Life is Full of Phantoms is rated TVPG. If you cannot handle violence, frightening images, or intensive feels, please click off of this video. Another important note, some of the characters are multicultural and have different accents. None of these characters are intended to offend in any way, shape, or form. They are either based off of real people from Ellipse City's life, or based on his own background. Other than that, please enjoy the show. Life is full of phantoms. Some can understand them And some can tell Just remember to watch your back Never let them make you na 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 Deep within your lies a power greater than the Life lesson number one. Play with snakes, you'll get bit. Ah, uh, look at that exquisite creature. How can one be so blessed? What did I do to deserve such a beautiful face like this? Milo, sweetie, don't forget. We're going to Club Cobra tonight. You're not even ready, are you? Oh, uh, I was just gonna go visit Matilda and watch her raise the sun, so I was getting ready, you know? Well, you should be very careful around Matilda. You wouldn't believe this, but Matilda has your face imprinted on her pillow. I went to her dorm yesterday, and I went in there, and I saw that she had a Milo pillow, a Milo blanket, even Milo tissues. Like, seriously, she's so weird. I know, she may be a sun goddess, but she's got some problems, Milo. You need to be careful around her. And who could blame her? I'm irresistible. Oh, Milo, what an idiot. Parker, are you ready for tonight? We need to be there. We need to stop Alexia and her act to hurt Milo. I know Milo kind of sucks, but... She's going to strike a lightning bolt at him after she makes him drink the Halusha and Oblivious smoothies. We have to do something about this. Lexi's posing as a hero. Well, we're gonna have to go incognito. I hear that there's rumors all over Imago Shade that we are thinkers because we went into the library, or you went into the library, but it's all over Imago Shade. Look at that, there's comments everywhere saying, I sent some thinkers. <sighs> Why did this have to happen? Don't worry, Parker. We're just going to have to sneak in there. We cannot make ourselves known. We just have to somehow get Milo to not drink the Hallucian Oblivious smoothies. We'll switch it out with something else that's safe to drink, but looks the same. I sure hope Milo actually thanks us once he finds out Lexi's true colors. That Matilda idiot! She went into the library! And of course, she sold her soul! To the librarian when she asked for a book on Salor Salor Rose. Well now, Matilda, your fate is near. Going into the library was a test that she failed. She has proven to be a thinker. And thinkers only go into the library. What normal Imagwan would go inside the library unless they were a thinker? Only the thinkers go in the library. So many destructions on the island of Imagwan. And you just go to the library. It pulls on a thinker. And thinkers will pay dearly for their mistakes. This is it, Milo. Club Cobra. Ugh, I already feel sick just being here. Oh yeah, this place is neat! Oh my god! Oh yeah, and good news, Milo. Now that you're a favorite, you don't have to drink your phasmatonic anymore. You know, that stuff that you need to drink to keep your powers? Yeah, once you're favored, Lady Rosalia always keeps your powers. She makes sure they're never turned off. She has that ability. So you may as well just throw away the phasmatonic bottles. Only the unfavored idiots have to drink those. Let's not talk about the unfavored ones. They're too irrelevant to be talked about. Ugh, I freaking hate him. Why is he so... Ugh! Parker, I know Milo is not very likable, but we have to do this because Lexi's brainwashing him and she's gonna pose as a hero. We can't let that happen. I mean, I know Milo isn't the best, but he's been brainwashed. like every Amaguam on this island. I doubt that any of the Mogwams who came here were actually bad people. They only became this way because of Lady Rosalia brainwashing them. I mean, 
Lexi kidnaps them, takes them on a boat ride to Mongua, puts trash into their minds about the Phantom and Jammer universe, and they believe it. Then they take a test, and that test brainwashes them even more. And if they fail the test, they're automatically a favorite. If they pass the test, they're seen as too smart, and Lady Rosalia hates them because they're thinkers. This is why Lady Rosalia hates me. Because I'm a thinker. Even though everyone thinks I should be a favorite, I'm not. Because Lady Rosalia hates thinkers. That's because mediocrity is the trend these days. Apparently, if you're too talented, people are intimidated by that and they try to stifle you. What are you waiting for, Maya? Let's go party. How late can we stay? All night, freakazoid. We're both 16-year-olds, right? We're not little kids. We can stay out all night if we want to. Ugh, back when I lived with Ellipsity, he always set curfews for me. I could never stay after 8 p.m. All the more reason to be excited about the storm we're gonna cause on him, right? <laughs> hey Lexi, I'm wondering, if this is a private resort, why are there no guards at the door so that random people don't break in? It's like the library. If anyone breaks in here, it's a test to see who the thinkers are, because only the thinkers would care to infiltrate this base. Only people who haven't been proven to be thinkers are allowed through that door. And any thinker who does go through that door... <laughs> The cameras catch it all, honey. Life lesson number one. Play with snakes, you'll get bit. Anyways, let's look at some drinks. Wait, Parker, where's the drink I handed you? I got thirsty, all right? You know how much I love grape smoothies. Oh, I was dying of thirst. Ugh, great. Now what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop Lexi? Milo, sweetie, you've gotta drink this. It's a Halusha and Oblivia smoothie mixed together. Yeah, Halusha powder and Oblivia powder mixed together to create this delicious smoothie. Wait, doesn't Halusha make you hallucinate? Only if you're not in Mogwam, Milo. But in Mogwam's actually need this stuff. It makes them feel very healthy and happy. And they'll live a much longer and happy life if they drink these smoothies regularly. I know I should have given them to you sooner, but I'm gonna start giving them to you now. Starting right now. Hmm. Don't mind if I do then. Stop! Don't drink it! Uh, Matilda! Hey, Matilda, if you want some of this drink, just get your own. No, I'm not drinking that. Milo, that stuff you're drinking has Halusha and Oblivia. Halusha makes you hallucinate, and Oblivia makes you forget your past. Stop drinking it! Lexi wants to brainwash you. She doesn't care about you. She just wants to destroy you. Oh my gosh, Matilda, really? I know you have a huge crush on Milo, but... You don't have to spread lies about me just to get him on your side. That's so pathetic, Matilda. What's pathetic is that you keep lying to an innocent otter, or once was innocent, just for your own gain. Just to become the number one favored person in Solar's on a Rose, and to take over all of Jama in the Phantom Universe, in an organization that lies about peace and equality? Now where on earth did you hear that? Matilda, I think you need to go home and rest. You've been partying too hard tonight. I think you drank a distortion smoothie. It's clearly distorting your memory and logic. You probably shouldn't be so quick to assume that, Lexi. Matilda was present during one of the Solar on a Rose meetings. Yeah, she spied on you guys during your trash-talking session. Wow, they sure don't call them thinkers for nothing. No! Parker! Oh, Matilda, I should have drank my phasmatonic. Parker, please, no! Be patient! Come on, you can do this! It's all lies. It's all one big conspiracy. No one on this island is actually immortal. Only that phasmatonic stuff makes you immortal. And unless you're favored by Lady Rosalia, you can't survive without it. Wow, thinkers are rather intelligent, aren't they? Parker is correct. Once you become favored by Lady Rosalia, you no longer need the phasmatonic drink. That stuff keeps you immortal. If you don't drink it daily, you become immortal again. Therefore, no one on this island is actually immortal, except for Salarzano Rose. And that, my friend, is exactly why everyone wants to be favored. Well, now that you've witnessed a live Salarzano Rose meeting, I guess it's time to tell you exactly what our goal is. Our goal is to limit the population of Imagwams. Only a few of us can invade Jama in the Phantom Universe as immortal phantoms. Everyone else can either die or work hard to achieve a goal they're never going to achieve. Lady Rosalia is very picky. She's picky about who she's going to choose as a favorite. 
has to be someone dumb, not someone smart. So anyone who shows signs of being a thinker could be a threat to Solars and Aros, and that's why we stifle the thinkers. Which is exactly what I'm doing to you and Parker before you attempt to do anything to ruin our plans. Your reputation has already destroyed Matilda, and so is Parker's. No one's going to miss either of you once you're gone. That's why we destroy reputations so that no one misses them when they die. When we destroy them once and for all. Did I happen to tell you? Lady Rosalia is the mother of all phantoms. And she only wants a few of her children to survive. Like seriously, if you were a mother, would you want to have millions and millions of kids? I highly doubt that. You would want a small family to raise. Oh, well, don't worry, because as long as I'm alive, I'll find a way to stop you and your stupid cult. I wish you luck with that, Matilda. But you're not favored, so it's always going to be my word against yours. Oh, well, lucky for me, Lexi, I drink my phasmatonic, so I'm still immortal. Well, then, let's see how long you can last in a fight. <laughs> no! I brought your son up every morning. I could refuse to do that. I could always allow a cloudy day. Then you're rather stupid for a thinker, Matilda. We're exact opposites. You make the sun shine, and I cause the rainy thundercloud days. No, because rain days are actually beautiful. But you make them ugly by striking people with lightning. How could you do that to me, Matilda? You know I really wasn't trying to hurt you. <sighs> Try and beat this, Matilda! You could really use a mitt, Milo! I really don't have to be your enemy, Milo. Or even your enemy, Lexi. You don't have to do any of this. This is all so pointless. Matilda, I think I'm done for. <coughs> that was a very hard blast. Parker, no! You're not going anywhere! Goodbye, Matilda. We didn't know each other that long, but you were the only person that respected me on Imagua and understood me. No! No, Parker! No! No! Why did you do that, Matilda? Why did you attack all three of us so ruthlessly? You monster! Shut up! Shut up! You may be immortal, but you can still get hurt. Oh, my... my fur coat. I'm... gray! <coughs> Guys, I'm sorry for the sudden live stream, but... Matilda just attacked me, Milo, and Parker, and Parker's dead because of her! <laughs> Why would she do such a thing like this? What? Now that's a real snake! You all should be hating on her! I'm reposting this. But stupid sun goddess, I always knew you were fake. Matilda exposed. Oh my god, she's so fake! Unstand! I'm a jealous that you're not a favorite. Matilda used to be my idol and I thought she was a great person. But I guess I was wrong. Well, there we have it. Another episode done and dusted and only one left to go. That's right, the season 2 finale is next Sunday, August 5th. And I just want to say some things about this previous episode that you guys just watched. So as you noticed, it was about drama. It had a drama situation in it. And of course, Matilda's reputation got ruined because of the rumors that Lexi spread. Now, what I want people to take away is that these kinds of things happen in the real world and people need to realize how detrimental it is. It happens in the Animal Gem community, and there has been drama lately, and people need to realize that this kind of stuff can happen from drama. It can ruin people's reputations, it can cause a lot of garbage to happen, it just, and it's all so unnecessary. Like Matilda was saying, this is all so pointless, so it really is pointless. So if you're like a fan of my channel and you watch Life is Full of Phantoms, please take that message away from this episode and just... I don't know, spread it to whoever you want. Like, show the episode to people who watch the series or people who are wanting to get into the series because Life is Full of Phantoms is known for carrying lots and lots of realistic life lessons. Like, I don't sugarcoat anything in this series. I just go all out realistic with it. And these kinds of things happen in the real world. 
and I want to educate people about that. Drama happens, there's ways to deal with it, you know, and um, we're just gonna have to find out how Matilda deals with it, but yeah, I just hope you guys took away the message that drama is very serious, spreading rumors is very serious, you can't believe only one side of the story, because you never know if that one side is making the other side look horrible, and that, you know, people do that. It's just, it's really sad, but it is what it is, and that's a huge reason this episode of Life is Full of Phantoms was so important to me. But yeah, only one episode left, and uh, as always, you know how I do giveaways, just comment your username, what you liked and didn't like about the episode, your theories for the finale and season three maybe, and that's pretty much it, so hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, don't get into drama, <laughs> it's really bad, you know? No one wants to be involved in drama. And if you're so entertained by drama, watch Life is Full of Phantoms. Because I guarantee you this series has more drama than any other series I've ever written in my life. So if you're interested in drama, this series is the series for you. You don't need to focus on real drama with real people attacking each other. When you've got fictional drama where no one is actually getting hurt besides the people in the fictional world. So hope that makes sense. And uh, have a good day. Oh, look at you making it to the end of my video like that. Thank you so much if you did. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to subscribe and come back for more edginess. Yeah, I'm an edgy channel, and somehow I actually am able to accomplish positivity. Yeah! Okay, that was weird, just, you know. But yeah, if you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. And remember to always be yourself and embrace your uniqueness. All right, they've heard enough of your speeches, Ellipsity. So, yeah, you're free to go now. Yeah. <laughs>